Hi friends, welcome. My name is Baron, and this is my channel where I talk about book stuff. I'm the book Baron. Welcome in. So today we're talking about books that are getting published in December that I'm very excited for. I felt like October, there was so, so, so many releases that were very exciting. Lots of books that were gonna be on the top 100 charts for Amazon. And then we backed off in November and now December is, is ramped back up. The reason I wanted to do this video too is because not only one is it ramping back up, but two, I was looking at my calendar of like all the books that I was keeping track of. And I kid you not, there's just like, I have all these calendar like reminders and it's just stacked from like the 5th through the 9th. And then there's like a bunch again on the 28th. Um, One thing I'll say, this is all the information that I have at the time that I'm filming. Dates a lot of times with indie publications get pushed around. So if you're interested in a book, definitely like keep an eye on it because sometimes those publication dates do change. Just a heads up with that. So just a fair warning, I'm not a super Christmassy gal. If you're looking for a lot of Christmassy recommendations or like new releases, you're not gonna find a ton on this list uh, just because it's not really my thing, it's not really my jam. Most of these are dark romances. There's a couple contemporaries and a couple fantasies. For the Christmassy gals, the first one, I have almost no information about it. I just saw that Marla Locker had posted a reel and I was like, that looks very good. I even commented, I was like, this looks like a Christmas novella for the non-Christmas girlies. And she's like, that's exactly right. That's the vibe. So that's why I'm excited. I'll leave a link to the reel in the description box because it is oh, it was so well done. Like seriously, go watch it. If you don't want to read this book after watching that reel, like, I don't know what to tell you. Don't know the release date. It's just expected sometime in December. It will be on KU. She's a KU author. So the only details I know about this, this is spooky with a cozy theme because even the darker girls need a little something something during this time of year. So it's supposed to have a ghoulish female main character. So think like a monster. The main male character character is going to be an elf and more shy. It's like Halloween meets Christmas. It's spooky but cozy. The last tip that she gave us was that it's a dominant woman and a submissive guy. Honestly, I think that's the one, well, there's one other one that I'm really looking forward to, but out of all the releases, like that's the one that I'm most excited for. The other Christmassy release that I'm excited for is Three Stolen Kisses by Cassie Mint. So this is coming out on December 8th. It's part of a series called it's part of a series called Santa Daddy and there's five other authors participating and I believe the dates range from like the first through the 19th. So they're kind of like staggered releases. These are all authors that specialize in doing insta love and a lot of them are centering around like office parties and stuff like that. Now I'm not a big fan of insta love unless it's around this time of year. And the tagline for this series is Father Christmas more like Santa Daddy. <laughs> Sorry, I have to pick this book up. The plot for this is that the female main character has a very rich dad. He hosts a lot of holiday parties and everyone who's anyone attends them. It's rock stars, it's judges, it's game show hosts, and they use this as an excuse to be real naughty. Her, on the other hand, she's supposed to top off drinks and be the perfect hostess, but she's decided she wants to do something a little bit different this year. There's a guy that's always been very protective of her and should totally be off limits, but she's gonna go after them and get them alone at this party. Now we're moving on to Dark Romance, which is my bread and butter. One of the releases I'm really excited for is Through the Pain by C.A. Renee. So this is releasing on December 5th. This is not gonna be on KU, but she is doing a pre-order sale for 99 cents. She's revamping this whole series that's like a high school fighter romances. So Ember is an MMA fighter and she very abruptly loses her parents. So she is forced to uproot her life and move in with her aunt and uncle who are very, very rich. This also means that she is not only in a new environment with her aunt and uncle, but now she also needs to attend a new school and that's where she meets Finn and things go from there. From what I've heard, Ember is like a no BS type of gal. I love C.A. Renee's women. They're very tough, gritty. I just really enjoy their personality. So I'm very excited to get to this one and see what she's done with the revamp. Next up is God of Fury. This is by Rena Kent. This will be releasing on December 6th. This is the fifth book in the Legacy of Gods series that has been everywhere. Like it literally haunts my Kindle ads. She's been an author that's been on my radar. And part of the reason that I wanted to read this, one, she's doing an MM romance. Two, the cover model is biting his necklace on the cover. Like I don't know what to tell you. That just gets me. Brandon is a quiet artsy type of bull. Boy. He's a golden boy and he has 
admittedly never been attracted to a man until he runs into Nikolai Sokolov. He is a mafia heir, violent, typical Kyrena Kent, and he is the mortal enemy of Brandon's twin brother. So we've got a lot of dynamics at play. It sounds like a fun time. I haven't read a dark MM romance recently. Next up, I have Sticks and Stones. This is by S. Mastery and S. J. Silvis. This will be releasing on December 7th on KU. It's a hockey romance, which I haven't really been into lately, but something about Twisted Obsession by S. Mastery really just makes me want to read dark hockey romances now. So the plot of this is that Ren has jeopardized someone's NFL dreams. Good lord, I don't know how I botched this. I literally told you it's a hockey romance and then proceed to say NFL, which is football. It's the NHL because it's a hockey book. Good job, Baron. It's her foster brother's best friend. He wants nothing to do with her. Unfortunately, something about his university rooming situation puts Ren in his orbit very constantly. And Ren's feisty and she's not going to take his shit. I'm very excited for that one. I really enjoyed Twisted Obsession. Next up, we have Dearly Beloved by Amelia Wilde. This is releasing on December 12th. This will not be on KU. She publishes wide. She's a another one that's been on my radar and the tropes that she's doing with this one in particular are ones that I eat up. It's fake marriage, marriage of convenience, billionaire damage hero. Just like, doesn't that sound so good? The plot of this is that Catherine needs a fake fiance in order to access her trust fund. She really doesn't want to get married. She kind of realizes that uh, there's some issues with getting married to someone so rich, but scandal is threatening the person that has always protected her. So she decides she's going to go through with it. And Jacob, her soon to be husband is a rich and attractive man, but he's got some demons that he just sort of suffers with silently. He's helping Catherine out as a way of paying his penance. I don't know, something about fake marriage, marriage of convenience just screams sort of like Hallmarky vibes without having to fully go into like Christmas territory for me. <laughs> All right, next up is an author that I've been seeing everywhere. Another one that I really want to try and this is Hans by S.J. Tilly. So this is releasing on December 28th. So I'm hoping to pick this up like right in the middle of that like post holiday slumpy time where you're just kind of like waiting for New Year's to roll around. And I found out she's a Minnesota gal, which is exciting. So I have very few details about this book, but from what I know about her previous books, it's part of a mafia series. There's eight gap, there's usually a plus size heroine, and there's usually some element of romantic suspense. So that's all I really know. I just kind of want to be part of the hype and get in on the book that everyone's currently reading. And then that'll get me excited about reading the rest of the series. Hopefully my logic makes sense there. <laughs> Because yeah, as I'm saying it out loud, I don't know that it does. Next up, we have a couple of contemporaries and we have The Arrangement by Adriana Locke. This is supposed to release also on December 28th. She is one of my palate cleanser authors. She's always on KU. She writes sweet contemporary romances and she's always a three stars and up. Like I always have a, a reasonably good time with her books. This is once again, <laughs> one that doesn't have a ton of details, but again, it's Adriana Locke. So I don't know that I necessarily need a ton of details. And from what I know, this is connected to the rugby romance that she just did. So I'm hoping that there's some rugby elements to this one as well. And the title being The Arrangement, I'm imagining it's going to be like some version of like a dating, arranged marriage, like something along those lines. And as I said, I love that stuff. That's definitely one that I want to pick up from her. So next up is Tuesday Night Truths. And this is by C.W. Farnsworth. This will be releasing on December 12th. This will also be on K. You. I love a melancholy heroine and no one quite does it like Miss Charlotte, Miss CW. So this is actually the second book in a duet. The first book released back in November of 2022. So I've been waiting a for a while for this to be completed, but essentially to avoid any spoilers, I'm going to describe the plot of the first book, which is Friday Night Lies. So this has like childhood crush, best friends, brother, basketball romance. It's got like some one tree hill vibes. A lot of this is that Kasha has a massive crush on Holden ever since he moved in across the street from her. They had a falling out somewhere around eighth grade, but we're now in our senior year. Kasha's best friend is Holden's younger sister. And they spend every Friday night together, which causes them problems. So I'm really excited for this to be <laughs> completed finally. I might have to go back and read Friday night just because it's been so long in preparation for <laughs> this release. So if I'm looking for 
something sweet, that might be one that I grab. Last two are my fantasies. So this I think is the release I'm maybe the most excited for. It's Gold by Raven Kennedy. So this will be releasing on December 7th. It'll be on KU. I took a break from fantasy, but lately with the colder weather, the cozier vibes, there is something that just makes me want to dive back into a fantasy world so badly. And I'm like, the timing for this release could not be better for me. I'm definitely gonna have to reread Glow, the fourth book in preparation to like get back in this headspace because I feel like I forgot a lot. But Gold is the fifth book and it's gonna be the second to last in the series. So the, the final book is still yet to come. So we're not quite done yet, folks. This whole series starts with Guild. It's a dark fantasy romance. I was gonna say it's a retelling. It's a reimagining of King Midas. So I don't spoil anything. The plot of the original book is that Orin has been held captive, sort of, by the golden king himself, King Midas, and she is one of his saddles. You know what that means. So Orin believes herself to be in love with King Midas because he actually helped rescue her. And she doesn't view the cage that she lives in as a prison, but actually a means of protection because Orin is made entirely of gold. She is the only gilded woman that Midas has ever turned. But in the first book, he ends up doing something that breaks her trust. And this sends her kind of spiraling because she starts questioning everything. This is surprising surprisingly dark. If you plan to read the first book because you haven't already, know that that book is slow and the first and second book almost read like a single book. So I know that that's kind of confusing, but if you're ready to just like sink into something, like hang in there, that first book wasn't my favorite, but it really picks up after that. All right, last up is my wild card and this is Broken Lands by Roxy Lee. This will be releasing on December 15th. This will be on KU. I honestly don't know much about this at all, but like I said, I was in the mood for fantasy so I was looking up some new releases. Something about this cover really just pulled me in. It's listed as a dark fantasy horror. So that kind of pulled me in because I'm like, ooh, hopefully this really like goes there. The premise of this is that Riley is a human in a fake troll world and she kind of keeps to herself. She just loves gardening and doing her thing. But plans change when her brother James disappears in one of the large face cities. She has to completely dive into this world that she really doesn't want to be a part of. Riley finds during her search that something powerful is awakening in her. Something about her is very different. And she turns to her newfound friends and her new love interests in order to help figure out how to control these powers, how to deal with the threats that are coming at them, and also ultimately find James. So I know this was a big long list, but these are all the books that are releasing in December that I'm excited for. I have them marked on my calendar. Comment down below. Let me know what it releases you're excited for in December or even just what you're planning to read. Are you planning to pick up any of these books? And don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe if you want more content from me. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.